Alrighty, here we go again. Now, I've already done a video about my favorite yay leaks, uh, but that video was from well over a year ago at this point, and since then, not only has a lot of new yay material leaked, but I've also changed my opinion on a lot of his older leaked material. Now, before we get into the actual ranking, I want to quickly say that I will not be including any Vultures era songs in this ranking, uh, because that album, or albums, are definitely gonna come out. And I wouldn't wanna label those songs with unreleased or leaked status and give them a bad luck charm, because after all, they're definitely gonna release, 100%. Also, I will be including some songs from Dawn to 2 on this list. Uh, I know, like, technically the album released on the stem player, but in my eyes, if it's not on Spotify, it's not released. So I'm gonna be throwing in some of the songs I still listen to and return to on Donda 2 on this list. On top of that, I'm only gonna be including the leaked songs that I actually consistently go back to and listen to. Um, I'm not gonna be putting every single leaked song from every single era, obviously. Let's get into it. 51, Always. Now, keep in mind, I don't dislike this song or any of the songs on this list. Um, it's only this low on the list because while I enjoy the chorus somewhat and I think the production is kinda cool, um, my enjoyment for the song is pretty surface level. 50, Too Easy. This track, while being one of the more interesting songs that Ye has made recently, um, it's just a little too skeletal for me to place any higher. And while the production is pretty cool, and I know a lot of people really like this song, and it's one of their favorites from the Donna 2 era, it's just it's just too, too, too little for me to place any higher. 49, NASDAQ. NASDAQ is a hype song, and I think if it spends a little bit more time in the oven, and Ye cooks on it a little bit further, it can definitely climb this list. But in its current state, I think all the other songs are definitely stronger. 48, Live in a Movie. There's an old school Ye leak here. I love the production, love the beat, love the verses. The chorus drags this song to the grave. I, I don't like the chorus whatsoever. 47, Get Lost. This is probably the most unique song Ye made during the Donna 2 era. Um, it is really bare bones, even more so than Too Easy, but I still find myself returning to it now and then. 46, Original Ecstasy. I like the lyrics in this version of Ecstasy better, but I do think that Ye's delivery in the released version is better than the unreleased version. That being said, I do listen to both pretty much interchangeably. 45, Wait For God slash End Of It. Bit of a more introspective track from Ye here, uh, the song is mostly just spoken word, but it does give you a good glimpse into Ye's psyche and mental state during the recording of the track, and it's just a pretty pleasant listening experience. 44, Midas Touch. I love Ye's rapping on this track, and I really rock with the production, but I do find that this track does get a wee bit stale after a little. 43, Stay On Him slash Precious. Nice little track from the Donda with Child era. Um, not much to really say about the song. I like the production, like the James Blake sample, and I think Ye's performance is pretty good. Uh, if I remember correctly though, it does have quite a few punch-ins, which does take away from it just a little bit. 42, Brothers. This is literally a fully finished, completed Ye song. Um, I have nothing negative to say about it. The only reason I have it placed at 42 and not higher is I don't find myself returning to it as much as I find myself returning to the tracks that are above it. 41, Mr. Miyagi. This song is pretty good. Uh, both Future and Cardi, I feel did their thing on this track. Uh, Future being the highlight in my opinion. And Ye also had a pretty solid performance. Just an overall solid track. 40, We Can Make It Better. I know, I know this song is technically not unreleased, technically, but it's not on my United States Spotify officially, and so I'm considering it unreleased, okay? Great late registration era song, great feel good song, nothing more to say here. 39, Security. Another cool track from the Donna 2 era. Uh, this is a song that I instantly liked while watching the listening party. I think the production is really cool. Ye has some great lines in this thing. Um, but I do think the track as a whole is pretty one note for it to be put any higher. 38, Quiet. Another war era song here. Um, I love this track. I think that it has one of Ye's best choruses in recent memory. Um, it's pretty simple, but I think it's really catchy. The James Blake feature is great. Now, the version of the track that I listen to is a fan-made edit off of a subreddit. 
and I'm like 85% sure that it uses AI, but it's just way too good to pass up. I'll put the link in the description below. 37, happy. This is an addicting track. There's something about it that just keeps bringing me back in. It just keeps pulling me back in. I love also the Neon Genesis Evangelion edit, fan edit, that someone made of this track on SoundCloud. I'll put the link in the description below. 36, Cash to Burn. Now we're getting into the Yandi era. Um, I really like the chorus on the song. I think the sample is really killer as well. Nothing more to be said about this track, really. 35, Spread Your Wings. I love both the drums and Ye's rapping on this song, and I'm pretty sure the track was at least partly produced by Timbaland, and that shows through the drums, if it's true. 34, LA Monster. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think that the fan-made version of this track on YouTube uh, has better production than all of the official versions of this track. Uh, it's the main version that I keep returning to. 33, last name slash slave name. Sick guitar sample. 32, Pablo. This was another track that I really liked upon hearing it for the first time during the listening party, but recently, a couple months back, there was a newer version of the song that got leaked, and I just love that version of the song so much more. 31, Eyes Closed. I believe this song was from the Good Ass Job era. Uh, I could be wrong, but in general, this era of Ye was just untouchable. Amazing production, amazing rapping, great feature, just an all around great track. 30, Pedals. This track probably contains one of the greatest samples that Ye has found in recent memory. Um, this track was on a repeat for me in 2023. 29, Blood of the Lamb. I'm happy this track finally got leaked in full. Um, the soul sample Ye is just, is just different, and Pusha T verse is great as well. 28, Beautiful Life. This track shows that Ye is still, to this day, ahead of his time. Love the chorus on this song as well. 27, My Way. Now, you can find this song on Spotify. It's it's a release song, but I'm still putting it on my list because I love the track, and it's just a great early 2000s Ye song. Still keep me on the list. 27, My Way. It's on the list. 26, New Body. This track is so well known at this point that even Ye's mumble verse is iconic. Also, this track has Nicki's second best verse of her career on it. 25, We Got Love. This track is also technically released. Uh, it came out on a Taylor, Taylor album, but Ye was removed from the released version, so I'm still gonna put it on this list. Uh, this track is beautiful, it's inspiring, and I love that Lauren Hill outro on this track. 24, Can You Be. This is probably the most iconic Ye leak ever. Uh, some people might be surprised to see it at only number 24, but I can't really bring myself to place it higher when the track is basically just one short Ye verse and uh, a chorus, right? The production is really cool, and Ye does have some great lines on the song, but I can't really bring myself to place it much higher, though the track does have legendary status, don't get it twisted. 23, I Feel Terrific. This is a weird song, much like tracks such as Freestyle 4 and I Am A God, but even though this track did take some time to grow on me, I think it shows that Ye is still willing to experiment and still has that tongue-in-cheek humor in him. 22, 80 Degrees. Everyone knows the song, bro. There's nothing to be said here. Everyone knows this track. 21, 5.30, Dear Summer. One of Ye's more popular recent leaks. Um, it's basically a fully finished song. I think the sample's really good, and I also find that Ye has a lot of great lines on this song as well. 20, Passenger slash Piano. This is a graduation era song that leaked in 2023. That already makes the song awesome. Also, obviously, love the piano on this track. And Ye sounds cocky and charismatic as ever, just like other uh, graduation era songs. 19, Awesome. This track, much like a lot of other Ye's love songs related to Kim, has become a little bit bittersweet ever since the divorce, but it's still a fantastic, fully finished song. 18, Law of Attraction. Use this gospel is great. Law of Attraction is potentially life-changing. 17, OG Cello. I'm gonna say it, bro. This version of Sella is more hype than Can You Be. I said it. You can stay mad. Sorry, you can stay mad. I said it. 16. Fuck the internet. Gay's singing on this song, combined with the production, 
is one of the best things that's ever blessed my ears. 15, Alien. Another legendary Yon the Era track. Nothing more needs to be said. 14, Throw Money Everywhere. Another more recent leak. Uh, it could be recency bias for me to place it this high on my list, but this track has been in my perma rotation. 13, Bittersweet Poetry. This is another fake leak, uh, much like My Way and We Can Make It Better, but I had to include it on this list just in case someone else discovers it for the first time. And it's 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 like half a leak, bro. Come on, give, give me a break. And I think the best way to describe this song is like, it's beautiful, it's funny, and it's it's heartfelt. It's, it's just a very pretty, cute song. 12, Heartbreaker. I feel like this track, more than any, kind of shows Ye's genius in a way. It's literally Ye just mumble riffing over a sample and some light production. And it, I've resonated more with this track than any other track I've heard of recent memory. 11, City in the Sky. This is the best song from the Yandi era, in my opinion. You have Ye and Clemens, Ty Dolla Sign and 070 Shake and Kid Cudi all in one track, and it's one of Ye's prettiest songs. 10, Can't Look In My Eyes. Daft Punk sample, MJ sample, Kid Cudi, and Ye all in one song. Come on, son. Nine, Brothers Freestyle. Now, to some people, it may seem weird, that I put the 20 minute mumble freestyle version of the song Brothers above, well above, the finished and completed version of the song. Hear me out. I think that while the finished version of the song is sharper and more, more refined and more completed, a lot of the emotion and vulnerability and rawness of the track is lost in translation. But this 20 minute freestyle maintains a lot of that emotion. I mean, you can literally hear Ye breaking down when he drops the Flew to Paris for a Hug line on the song. So while I like both versions of the song, I find that the 20 minute freestyle version shows far more vulnerability, rawness, and emotion than the completed version. Eight, Mama's Boyfriend. Yes, I understand this is one of Ye's more popular leaks, but there's good reason for that. The beat is fantastic. The Billy Joel sample is great and the overall concept and idea of the song is genius. In the first verse of the song, Ye starts as a kid who watches his mom get with another man and how much he was opposed to that as a kid. And then in the second verse, he flips it around and now he is the man getting with a girl who already has a kid. And it's just so, it's just like, I've never seen that sort of concept being played out in that way in a hip hop song before. It's really clever. Seven, Never See Me Again. And the last time I ranked Ye songs, Never See Me Again actually came pretty low in my list. But since then, the song has grown on me immensely. This is a over nine minute song that features basically no instrumental switch up other than Ye introducing some clapping in the song at one point. Yet the song's instrumental never gets stale for me. It never, I never get tired of hearing it. And yes, while the vast majority of the song is mumble, um, you can still sort of understand a lot of the lyrics that Ye is trying to say and a lot of the ideas that he's trying to work towards. I think overall this is an excellent track and while the whole suicide theory did ultimately come out to be uh, false, I think that this track definitely deserves its popularity nonetheless. Six, Crash Landing. This is a slightly lesser known Ye leak as far as I'm aware, um, but it's one of my favorites ever. It has an absolutely crazy sample, and I think the production on the song is nuts, as well as some great performances from both Ye and Sheck West, and I believe Casey also has a performance and feature on this song. I could be wrong, but I think he is also on this track. Five, Showtime. This is my holy grail Ye leak. If this song never comes out, I will do bad things. Four, Future Sounds. My favorite version of this song is actually a fan edit, a lot like some of the other songs on this list, but it's just, it's just too good to give up. Also, I think the horns on this track are some of Ye's best since Blood on the Leaves. On top of that, also, also, Travis Scott absolutely butchered this track on Utopia via telekinesis. He butchered it. Three, Streetlights, 
Jesus is King version. And this one's a bit of an oddball to put on the list. It's just a different version of an already existing song. But I think this track definitely deserves its spot on the list. Street Lights is already a life-changing song. And this version of the track, this more gospel version of it, in my opinion, is just equally as good. Two, I Feel Like That alternate version. If you know anything about I Feel Like That, or the original version of I Feel Like That, you know that it's a very depressing, sad, and real song. This version is completely the opposite. This version of the track features Ty Dolla Sign, and I believe Charlie Wilson, I could be wrong, um, but it's very uplifting, very hopeful, and it never fails to put a smile on my face. I love this song. And my favorite unreleased or leaked yay song is I Feel Like That, normal OG version. I Feel Like That is my favorite yay leak ever and is arguably one of my favorite songs ever, period. This is the most relatable and real song Ye has ever made. And I think Ye himself knows that as well, since this track, I believe, originally surfaced in around 2015-ish, but there's been rumors that he's been working on it to this day. There was rumors that he's working on it during Vulture's era, during Donda era. In fact, in the Cootie documentary, there is a moment in part three where you can actually see that he was legitimately working on it during the Kids See Ghosts era. So he's been going back to the song over the years, whereas he's abandoned dozens, if not hundreds, of others of his leaks. You know, at times, at times it does get pretty challenging to defend some of the things that Ye says, um, but this track and this track particularly has made it so that I, I, it's pretty much impossible for me to ever turn my back on him. He says the most outlandish things at times, but I feel like this song in particular shows that at his core, he is a good person. He is, and the light that I see him in because of this song is different than the light other people see him in. And I think that if he did one day release this track, people would sort of see him in a different way. This is also one of the very few songs that I've actually cried to. So yeah, um, that's my list. Thanks for watching. Um, back to modern Minecraft videos I go. Bye.